Hello Techies, welcome to Power Automate Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn about get subtext test action. What is the purpose of this get subtext action? It retrieves a subtext from the text value. I will show you an example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having a full name that is Sivaji Rao Gaikwad. I'm the fan of Rajnikan so that I'm going to take this name over here, Sivaji Rao Gaikwad. This is the full name of the Rajnikanth, right? If you see, if you observe over here, what is I'm having? I'm having first name and the last name. I want to retrieve the last name from the full name. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to set a string into a variable by using set variable. And then by using get subtext action, I will retrieve the portion of the text from the full name. I will show you how to get that. First, I'm going to set a variable for the full name. Let me drag and drop this set variable onto the workspace. I'm going to give the name as full name. And then in two, I'm going to provide the full name over here. The full name is Sivaji Rao Gaikwad. Let me click on save. Now, let me drag and drop this get subtext action onto the workspace. First, we'll see the parameters over here. What is original text? It's nothing but from which text you need to retrieve the portion of the text. So right now, the original text is that the full name that what I am going to take it. Let me click on variables. I'm going to select full name as a variable. If you see over here, start index to specify from where to where I need to retrieve it. If you see, there are two options, start of the text or character position. So whenever you're going to select start of text, what will happen? It will start from the zero. That index will be starting from zero, one, two, three, and so on. All right. Then you can mention the length, how many number of characters that you want to fetch it out. Over here again, you can see end of the text and number of characters. Whenever you are going to give a number of characters, you have to mention how many number of characters you want to fetch it out. All right. First of all, I will go with the start of text. And then if you see the word here, the length, I'm going to give end of the text. And then let me click on save. Now, what are the output we are going to get it? I will store that in the subtext. All right. Now to display this output, let me drag and drop this display message onto the workspace. And I'm going to give message box title as output. And then message to display the flow variable. What is that flow variable? Subtext. Let me select that. Click on save. Before that, I will show you the output, how it will come. Now the name of the full name is Sivajara Gaikwad. In our subtext, what we have given, I have given starting index as start of the text and the length is till end of the text that I'm going to select it so that you will get the name as is over here in the output. Let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And you can see the output over here, the full name we got it, Sivaja Rao Gaikwad. All right, let me click on OK. Now I want to get it only the last name from the full name. How can I go ahead and do that? By using get subtext, what I'm going to do, I'm going to starting index, I'm going to select the character position. OK, the character position will start from 0, 1, 2 and so on. So the full length of the Swayvajra of Gaikwad is 19 characters. So that the I'm going to start the position of the character from 12th because of the G will start from the 12th and till the end of the text, I'm going to retrieve the data and then I'm going to store in the subtext. Let me click on save. Let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see over here in the output, the last name is coming as Gaikwad because of the full name is Sivaji Rao Gaikwad. That is the string format I have stored that in a variable. And then I'm going to retrieve the last name by using get subtext. That is by using the character position as starting position as the character position. And then I have mentioned the length over there. All right, let me click on OK. Now we have fetched the last name. If you see over here in the subtext, I have fetched the last name, but I want the first name. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, if you see over here, I'm going to give the start of the text. It's nothing but it will start from zero indexing. And then if you see the le uh, length over here, I'm going to give the number of characters. And I want 11 characters from starting from zero onwards. Now, what will happen? It will get the Sivaji Rao only. 
let me click on save and then let's run the flow once again now if you observe that the output that we got it as was zero and if you observe previously we have given as uh, start of the index start of the text right now we have given the end of the text and we have given the number of characters all right let me click on okay now if you see over here what i have done in the get subtext i have given start of the text or character position whenever you have selected the character position i have again gone for the length and after that i have given end of the text number of characters all right now if you want in between right now i want to get it the raw only how can i go ahead and do that i want first of all i need to fetch the length of the particular string how can i go ahead and do that if you see in the set variable i'm having the variable name with the full name right how can i fetch out the length i'm having the property that is called full name dot length length is the property over here you can see over here by using this property dot length we can get the length of the string let me show you that one practically i'm going to draw drag and drop one more display message over here below the set variable and i'm going to select display message as length and then which length that we want the length of the full name let me go to the message to display under that i'm having full name i'm going to select full name dot length let me click on save now before going to display this message i will do some more changes over here in the get subtext to get only the row okay i'm going to start from the position character position i'm going to say eighth position because of eighth position will start from the row seventh or eighth until 11th you can see 7th and the 11th number of characters that i will make it as 4 so that you will get it 7 plus 4 11 characters you will get it let me click on save let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see the length of the full name is 19 click on ok now if you see the full name is sivajarao gaikwad and i have given the characters over here the starting character position is 7th and the with the length of four characters that i want to get the name over here raw i got it as an output you can see that raw has been stored in the subtext all right let's click on ok i hope you understand how to work with get subtext test action as part of this tutorial inside that we have seen how to work with start index character position length and the number of characters to provide to get the or to retrieve the subtext from the text value by using get subtext as a test action thank you for watching power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day